Hey everybody, it's Kim, and today I want to share with you my DT project for the Pork Chop so the Pork Chop Show on Etsy and eBay. And um, of course, I will have the links to both of the stores down below this video. So please do go and check them out. Um, I did a video, I don't know, about a week and a half ago, showing you guys what Scott had sent me, and uh, it included the shadow box and all kinds of pork choppy goodness. So. This is what I came up with. Um, when I was speaking to Scott, we had talked about, you know, what sort of, I guess, things I wanted to do, and I said I'd like to go maybe steampunk, and he sent me some great steampunk pieces. So what I did with the shadow box, as you have just seen with the photographs before this video, was uh, a clock, because I love clocks. And when I was creating this, I came up with this idea of this whole sort of... Uh, fantastical world that goes on inside um, one of these giant clocks and uh, how the gears move and what goes on inside of it and, you know, this sort of strange little world. So anyway, that's the way my mind worked anyway. But uh, <laughs> So let me share with you what I have did. And I used two different paper stacks for this. I used the Tattered Time by DCWV and I also used the new uh, Steampunk Spells by Graphic 45. So let me start and explain to you how I put this all together. Um, first of all, of course, I put the uh, shadow box together. And I'm just going to turn this to the side here. So you can see the shadow box was pretty easy to put together. Um, didn't really have any problems with that. And then after I got it all together, I painted it black. And I took some of the tattered time paper, and this one has the gears on it, and you can sort of see them. Let me turn this light on here, maybe that will help. Oh, look, light! Um, you can sort of see the gears uh, in here, and I just ripped the paper, um, because I really was going like steampunk crazy with this. And uh, after I just ripped the paper, I used my distress inks, and um, I added that to it. And then also, you can see down here at the bottom. I've used metal foil tape that you can find in your hardware store. And what I did was I embossed it with a um, little Sizzix embossing folder that I have that has uh, gears and keys and things on it. And I just did some small random pieces and just kind of put them all over the, the shadow box. So that's basically the what I did to the shadow box. And then of course on the inside I've used my f one of my favorite papers which is the Tattered Time. So after I um, painted and put the paper on the box, I added these fantastic gears that I got from, a s they're actually from Australia. Um, the seller was on eBay, and um, I just wanted this to have a lot of really cool, um, a cool pieces to it. And what I did with these, I painted them black as well, and then I took, um, one of my stencils that I had that has some gears on it and I used some texture paste and I went over it and you can see it leaves images of course and uh, after I had done that I took my silver uh, rub and buff which is like a wax and I just went over it so it picked up all the raised pieces and sort of showed um, well you can sort of see more of it back there and it showed all the raised pieces and it really made the gears look cool there you can sort of see some of the gears. So those are just uh, attached to the back. And I have to clean the back up still, but you get the picture. <laughs> so that was the second thing that I had done. And then the, after I had done those two things, I was able to start embellishing. So we'll start on the inside. And of course, as I said, I used a piece of my favorite paper, which is the Tattered Time. And I didn't do a ton on the inside because there's so much going on on the outside. It is a working clock, as you can see, and it's kept fantastic time. Um, the hands here, I use two different ones because I have like a collection of different clock hands. And I just used two different ones because I just didn't want them to be the same. I thought, you know, it's not... Uh, steampunk is not perfection, that's for sure. It's industrial and different looking, so I thought, I'm going to use two different hands, and I did. And I also used some of the silver rub and buff on them because the the gold one there was really brassy and bright, and I needed to tone it down a bit. So after I did that, 
I started working sort of on the numbers, and you can see a giant number three there, and that's one of the Tim Holtz um, numbers. And then right at the 12, I've got this fantastic pork chop piece. It is um, like a tube you'd see in an old radio or something. So that's supposed to be the 12, but I've also got the number 12 at the top here, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. And then over here, I've got some of the great pork chop gears and a couple of metal ones, and a number 9, which is Tim Holtz. And then I've got this paper here that says, Time flies, tick tock. And that's from the, the um, Graphic 45 Steampunk Spells paper. And then down here, the number 6 is really cool. These are two pork chop pieces. This is um, the television. And I put some of uh, the Graphic 45 paper behind it. And then I put one of the typewriter keys uh, for the number 6. So that was kind of fun. And then in the corner over here, I have got another of these great uh, tubes, which I just love, and then another one of the little wooden gears in there. So I'm hoping you can see in there. And then I've just got um, up in that corner uh, a black flower. And all the flowers, um, I just used black flowers, and uh, I took my silver rub and buff and just went over the flowers, and it kind of gave them a bit of a metallic look. So that's basically the inside, and so the outside will start down here in this corner. Of course, you can see the, the lovely lady from the Graver 45 paper, and she just worked great with um, the design of this and uh, all the great uh, steampunk pieces that Scott had sent me. So right here you can see two of the gears from the Pork Chop Show. And then here I've used just a couple of small metal ones, and this is a Tim Holtz number I just put on her hat. I cut out um, some Roman numerals and another piece from uh, the paper, and just kind of um, weave them behind this wing of hers. And then coming down here, I've got one of the Tim Holtz keys, another pork chop part here. I love, love, love these clocks. They're so cool. I just love them. And then I use these clock hands here as well. And then you can see back in here, right in here, I've used another pork chop part. This is a, um, like a gear of some kind, not, um, not like your regular gear. It's more like a, oh, I forget what it's called. Like a temperature thermometer type thing. And uh, so that's just peeking out behind the lady's arm there. And then, of course, you can see the um, flowers that I've used here. And I also used some of the Prima um, junkyard findings for the flower centers, which I thought looked cool. And then a little light bulb here and a spring in there from my hubby's workshop, which I rated. <laughs> and then over here, I love this piece. This um, is pork chop piece here, and it's a key, but it looks like a real key. It's so cool. I just love it. Um, and then coming over here to this side, here's another one of the great gears. And then um, the corset with wings is from the Graphic 45 paper. And then this big key right here is actually a candle snuffer. You can see the, the piece down here. And it was originally black, and what I did was I took some of the, um, let's see if I can grab one here. I took some of this stuff. Um, it comes in a kit of three, and you get three different colors to make things look rusty. And uh, that's what I used, and this stuff is fantastic. It really works great. I just love it. So I did that all over the key, and then I did add a bit more of the silver rub and buff on top of it. And then here you can see another pork chop piece. And then here, this area is kind of fun. This is actually um, a handle off of an old pencil sharpener that my husband gave me. And I just thought it worked really well because it sort of gave a bit of movement to the piece as well as the moving clock hands, of course. But uh, And then here, another great clock piece from Scott's store. And this is just a mixture of really, really fun items here. Um, here I've got um, a British uh, penny from 1966 that a friend sent me. And here's this great uh, hand piece that's pointing inwards to the clock, so you can look inside the clock. More of the black flowers. Another spring. 
and then this really cool lock, which I just love. And I've got um, some vintage um, pen nibs here. And then this is a Prima junkyard finding, and I've used a little Tim Holtz clasp to bring the chain over to this gear. And then, again, it goes over to this piece over here, which is a fussy cutout from the steampunk spells. And then if you follow that along, you see another great pork chop gear. And then coming right over back to here, I have one of the Graphic 45 uh, doorknobs, which I just love these. And Scott had sent me this really cool, um, I love these, um, keyhole. And I, I looked on his um, Etsy shop, and each one of the keyholes in the set that he has, they all have something different on the inside. And this one has a little skeleton. And so it worked out perfectly to fit on this Graphic 45 piece. It just fit great. So it's a fun way to add, because everybody's got these doorknobs, a great thing to add to your Graphic 45 doorknobs. They're really fun. And then coming over here, of course, uh, the other ge the gears again. Um, the big gears here, I just added two of the other gears from Scott. And then you can see this side, and I've used Tim Holtz feet, and these are knobs, vintage uh, door pulls. So those are the feet. Two different things, but they work, and they, and they look fun. There's no rules in steampunk, I guess. You just go for it. So there you can see more of the um, metal foil tape that I embossed. More of that paper. So that's basically it. And then, of course, too, you can see that I've put some chicken wire here as well. And you can see through it and see the clock, which is fun, but I just thought it would be cool to put some chicken wire there. Just adds more me metal to it, I guess. So that is the outside. So now we come up to the top. And the top is really fun. Um, again, you can see the paper and the metal foil tape. And then I've got this really cool gear right here, or pardon me, not gear, but another tube. I love this one, so I really wanted it featured. Um, it's got really cool detail on it. I just love these pork chop pieces because you can see so much detail in them. They're so much fun. Um, they really make me smile, actually. They're one of the, the most enjoyable things I've worked with for a long time in crafting. Um, and they're very versatile. You can use them for all kinds of things. So, And then here, this light bulb is really fun and cool. Again, rated for my husband's workshop. He doesn't mind, actually. <laughs> He's pretty good that way. Um, so I've got this really neat light bulb here, and it's standing up at the top, and then I've got more of the black flowers and a bunch more of the little uh, pork chop gears. I love these gears. They're my favorite. Um, and then coming up to the top, I've used the number 12 here, and these are the Tim Holtz numbers. Um, and then here, another key. And I'm telling you, these keys look so real. They're just amazing. I love them. So that's a pork chop piece. And then I used, um, this had a big sort of circle here on the two. I thought, you know, that'd be cool for one of the typewriter keys from Scott's store. So I put the backspace key there. <laughs> and then right here, another gear. So this is my very first uh, design project for Scotty Porkchop, and I'm just going to move my camera a little bit so you can see it all. And I really hope that you like it. Um, these Porkchop pieces are so much fun to play with. You guys will really, really enjoy them. And if you haven't checked out Scott's shop yet, please go and do. Um, his prices are fantastic. So there it is, and I really hope that you guys like my steampunk clock. It was so much fun to play with. And yeah, definitely get one of the um, shadow boxes too, because they were easy to put together. Really quality wood um, for both the pork chop uh, art parts and the shadow box. So I'm sure you'll have a really good time once you uh, order from Scott. So there it is, ladies and gents, and I hope you all like it. Please leave a comment and let me know what you think. I love to hear from you. And don't forget to check the links down below for Scott's eBay and Etsy store. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.